Keith Haring is an American artist known for colorful cartoon artworks and characters such as crawling babies, barking dogs, and spaceships. His bold lines, vivid colors, and active figures represent life and unity. Before becoming famous, Keith would draw every day on empty black pieces of paper along the New York subways. Sometimes he would get in trouble, but most people really liked seeing his art. Eventually, he traveled the world painting large murals on hospitals and other public spaces. He loved painting with children and wanted everyone to make art. We are going to make movement figures inspired by Keith Haring. To begin, take a white piece of paper and fold it two times, once over and once up and down. When you open it, you'll have four sections. These are where we're gonna put our four figures. Next, with a pencil, begin drawing stick figures in interesting positions. Think about where the knee would be and how that would be bent out. Don't forget about the feet and maybe you wanna bend an elbow. All of your figures in each section should have different positions. Do whatever you want, be creative. Next, use a black marker and after outlining the head, leave a gap where the neck will go and then outline around your pencil markings. So you'll notice I'm not touching my pencil. I'm going around so that instead of a single line, I create a body shape. So again, go around your head, but leave an opening for the neck and from there, that's where you'll add the rest of your body and your line you'll go around and you'll connect to both sides of the head. When you're done outlining, erase really well so that we don't see the pencil. Now it's time for movement lines. Right now our figures look flat and they're just stuck in space. We're gonna add lines around our figures to make it look like they're moving. Think about what you want to be moving. For me, I'm having that first figure tap his feet, shake his head, and wave his arm. You can do all sorts of different designs with your lines. Think about movement and how your figure is moving. Then draw lines nearby to show that.
Let's talk about colors, specifically complementary colors. I've lined up the colors of the rainbow in a circle. You already know warm colors and cool colors. Now we're going to talk about complementary colors, which is colors opposite each other on the color wheel. So red and green, blue and orange, purple and yellow. They're opposite each other and they really stand out. They're so opposite that when you put them together, they actually go because the colors bounce off each other and become more vibrant. The complementary colors are red and green, blue and orange, and purple and yellow. Using the complementary colors, color in each section a different complementary combo. So for this first one, I'm doing a green figure and I'll follow that up with a red background. I'm choosing to use a marker for the figure and crayon for the background. It does not matter, you can pick. But be careful to make sure you follow the complementary colors for the first three boxes. So one box will be green and red, the second will be blue and orange, and the third box will be yellow and purple. For this fourth box, you can pick which color combo you want to do. I'm choosing to do red and green again, but I'm going to switch it so that now red is my figure and green is my background. It's up to you. Do what color combination and complementary colors you like best. There you have it, your Keith Herring complementary color figures. Woo!